welcome back to Crafters Compass. I am Lisa, your host, and today it is time for another session of Craft With Me, so let's get started. Okay guys, today we're going to be working with resin again. Um, as I've done a video on it before, I like the Let's Resin brand resin. Works phenomenal, holds up well, cures nice and clear, uh, minimal bubbles. It's a great product to work with, but um, today we're going to make a resin bottle opener um, and with St. Patrick's Day coming up in a week I thought it'd be fun to do a green one um, so let's get started okay and we have our resin all mixed up here one to one ratio on the resin we did a nice slow mix to, to um, help keep the bubbles down to a minimum um, this one we're going to do we're going to be doing since we're doing the uh, bottle opener today let's go ahead and add some green to this and let's do it for st patrick's day that's coming up um, the mica powder um, is one of the packages i ordered of coloring it has so many colors y'all there's glittery there's more flat colors and there's a whole range of colors and i'll have that linked in the the video below but um, these work great. These are these mica powders are meant to be mixed with resin. They mix wonderfully. The color is phenomenal with them. So they do come. These colors do come with a little scoop with them. I'm just going to tap it in there. Um, we want this pretty green. Let's do quite a bit in there. And the amount you put in is going to depend on how you want the color to look. I say start small, uh, mix it up, and if it's not as enough for you, then mix a little more. It's easier to add more. You can't necessarily take that away. You'd have to make more resin and add it, and then that just starts a whole, the whole process over again. So you don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to mix this up in here nicely. Gorgeous green emerald green color perfect for st patrick's day so we've got a nice even mix on that make sure we're scraping the sides so that we get our color in there and we get everything mixed in and looking real good and i'm happy with that color um, if you see, it's going to be somewhat clear to it, um, which is fine. I'm good with that because it does have the green, and the green sparkle will show up nicely, I think, with that. So I'm going to start with that, clear off my little stick here a little bit. And using my prepped mold here for bottle openers, I think we're going to do this... Um, Actually, let's do this one here, this differently shaped one. Let's try it out. Um, you want to pour nice and even. Um, keep it on a flat surface. I'm working on a metal table, but I'm going to nice and slowly pour my layer of green in here. Scrape my cup, get everything out. Okay, and we had our nice level pour there. Um, I do tend to get down eye level with the table and look across and make sure that I'm level with my with the top of my mold. You want that to be level because you don't want it to feel like it's kind of caving in once it sets. Um, now what we just need to sit. Um, I don't have a lot of bubbles sitting there on this. Um, to double check though, I am gonna use my lighter real quick. And I'm just gonna do a quick run across the top. It is a little harder to see them when you do have glitter in there. So I wanna make sure we don't have any bubbles going on. Quick run across the top. Like I said, keep that short, keep it moving. If you stay in one place too long, it's going to kind of mess with your mold and it's going to make it stick to your 
uh, resin too much. It'll tear your uh, mold when you're getting it out. So we're going to let this sit. All right, guys. So our resin has been in the mold for um, actually more like 36 hours because I was working. I did have some stuff going that I wasn't able to get back in here and take it out. So we're going to get this removed from the mold, uh, the mold um, and then we will... Um, add our metal piece that actually goes in place here um, to open the bottles. So let's get going. Okay, so here is our bottle opener. Came out really good. The green, it's a gorgeous dark emerald green. So let's get started. Um, inserting our metal bottle opener to it and get this project finished up. Okay, I have everything here I need to add our metal bottle opener to our resin design here. Um, it doesn't require it. I am going to put a touch of glue in place. Uh, this glue is great. It's nice and clear, but it's nice and secure. Um, it works great if you're doing jewelry, those kind of things. Um, I go ahead and put a little daub of this on. I just want to make sure that your bottle opener is nice and secure. So that open. Actually, it's already pouring out of there. So I put, as you can see, it's just a very small daub. And this is a little, a little tray I have that I use sometimes for my glue. Um, I'm going to use this just to help with less mess. And I'm going to put a little blob there, there, there and there, scoop that up. So I'm going on the inside, but obviously not where the, the screws are going. You could actually put a little on the screws um, before you enter, put them in. Um, here is my metal piece. As you can see, the narrower end is at the bottom. So that's going to match up there. So I'm going to put that there and make sure I can see my holes for my screws. They are a little difficult to see sometimes with the glitter um, or the design you have in your resin, but that's on there. Um, when you order, when you get a kit to do the bottle openers, it is going to come with a set of the metal pieces, the screws you need for it, and it actually has this little bitty screwdriver um, to put those in with as well. Uh, you can order these, I believe, separately once you have the mold, if you want to just continue making them. Um, you can order sets of just the bottle openers, and I'll attach a link below uh, for that. Um, so I'm going to put my screw there. Is a little tough to screw in, but that's good. You want it to be. Um, so that it's going into there and being nice and tight. Um, Okay, so these should be good and tight now. Um, if you have trouble screwing them in, um, sometimes people have you know issues with their hands that they can't just really grip that wood enough to get that in. Um, you can always grab a little electric drill. Just be cautious doing that, that you don't um, overdo it. Got a little glue leaking out right there. Um, that you don't overdo it and go in too far or crack your resin. So just take a nice and slow speed if you're going to use an electric um, drill to get those screws in good and tight. But guys, here is our St. Patrick's Day resin bottle opener. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe below to make sure you don't miss any upcoming videos. And we'll see you next time. Happy crafting.